Oh my gosh. The sun is already set. So beautiful out here though. them African video you shot Africa is where it is Yeah I'm in love with Africa music Now look back. Africa is so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So, so an African bear. Africa is so beautiful. Kids always take care of their parents. Mm -hmm. It's like the thing. Like you would never ever imagine a world where you don't take care of your parents. Made it to the top. It's a pleasure to be here exploring Africa. Yes, I've gone two weeks into orientation so far and the World Teach program have been just a blessing for me to grow as a professional, as a teacher and to prepared, be prepared to teach the students in the northern region of Namibia which I'm so excited about. I've just been here learning a lot, so much about the history, about many of the locals. You know, it's a very new country, one that is seeking to grow, grow from their past, grow from the pain of colonization. And it's really a blessing for me to be able to come and 
fill in or do my gap part to fill that gap in education education which is so important to the youths of Africa and I'll be able to provide quality education to the northern parts, to the children in the northern parts, parts the African children, the indigenous black children of Namibia and that is truly a blessing. I look forward to that, I look forward to giving my best and I'm so grateful to have the support system of World Teach and the support system of my family and loved ones always cheering me on. I'm so happy to be here to sight this beautiful nature of Africa to give back to the motherland and my ancestors. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a blessing to sight up the motherland, you know, and to come and do some real fulfilling works feel what have happened to the people because we all want to get through our bad days you know and the only way that can happen is when we strengthen ourselves educate ourselves liberate and heal ourselves and i'm happy to be a part of the mission here in namibia i'm happy to be a part of the mission at the mayanzir primary school kavango west yeah guangali people Power to the people, always. The people have the power, just educate and lift ourselves. Yeah. The motherland standing on top of the sand dunes in Namibia. I'm so grateful to be here, to be here in as a part of the World Teach program, which have been a blessing for the last two weeks of orientation, where I've learned a lot about the country, about the students that I will be teaching and providing quality education for. The program has been really helpful in building me as a professional teacher and I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for the opportunities here to give back. Yes. I'm about to travel back down to the sand dunes. You know, this is what life is about. You know, nothing comes easy. You know, you have to work hard and after working hard, you'll definitely reach to the top. You'll definitely feel accomplished. And that's how I feel being here in Namibia, being here in the motherland. You know, I always wanted to come to the motherland as ever since I know myself. I always wanted to give back and I'm finally here. I'm finally, you know, maths and science. So it's a blessing, it's a real blessing. Namibia has such an unaddressed culture of warriors and you know what they did and what is really owned to them. But in time, you know, educating the people will solve most of the problem, I believe. Education for the youth, education. So that's to say, education will liberate us. And it's no joke. Education shall liberate us. Education shall liberate the minds of Africans. Because we need healing. Our history and all that we've been through. And we're still warriors. We're still going out there. We're still breaking barriers. And that just tells the art of our people and the minds of our people we're super strong and there is nothing that we cannot do here i am from the caribbean all the way from jamaica today i showed the children in the classroom where i'm coming from and they were like wow so far i was like yes cross the whole ocean just to come and teach the youths in namibia and it's a real blessing for me, it's a real blessing and I'll always be traveling to educate the youth around this world so that we can make better choices for ourselves and for our lives and for our family so reach the top of the world accomplish all our biggest dreams Zine for the youth
even though Sakamon is such a lovely place by the coast, I must note that the evidence of a parathid is still there and you would think that people who are using another ma native's country would have respect for the natives but you know they don't and it's really sad to see and I hope that in time Namibians can all have the respect that they deserve.